I'm Ryan, and my life is average. All right, everybody, welcome back to another incredible edition of Ryan tries things that he's never had before that most people don't eat. And today I'm trying astronaut food. One of you guys commented on one of my videos saying you should try astronaut food, and I didn't know you could buy that. I thought you had to have some sort of like NASA card, like a Costco card. No, go right on Amazon. You can buy some astronaut ice cream and grapes and drink stuff. I don't know. It'll probably make me sick. I don't know. I'll probably have, probably have to boil it or something. And I don't know this. And now no one's home and I live, I live in my own place. So before when I said, oh, if I die, at least my dad will come in and save me. No, no one's here to save me now. I have a 97 year old neighbor. She is not going, she can't, she's too slow, it's not, it's not possible. So as you can see, this is what the box looks like. Uh, of course, you see the ring light, huh? Look at that, I'm crazy, Ooh. Let's start it off. We got Neapolitan, am I saying that right? Neapolitan or Neapolitician. It's Neapolitan. Ice cream, so great. I'm gonna open it up. It smells good. Okay, it's in this thing. A little wrapper here. And it's spilling all over the place, so I'm gonna get a towel. Couldn't find a towel, so I got a plate uh, because it was very messy. So it looks like an ice cream bar. It has like the red, the white, and then the the dark. I guess would be the chocolate. I've never had fries. Mm. I've never had fries. Dream. Mm. I've never had fried trees. Mm. I've never had fried, dried, or freeze. <laughs> I'm fucking I give up. Mm. freeze dried food. Holy crap! Here we go. Okay, so I guess this is the. Uh, the strawberry part. It looks like chalk. I said that like a British person. Looks like chalk, eh? A little scribble all over my, my, my bosoms. I'm sorry. You guys don't say that over there. So it looks like uh, like sidewalk chalk, um, or cement. Oh my god! This might be a first on Ryan's average life. This is delicious. It tastes like fudge. Oh my goodness. It melts right in your mouth. Oh, oh, this is the best idea I've ever had. Guys, you gotta buy astronaut food. It tastes like fudge. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. I always wondered as a kid why everybody wanted to be an astronaut and like why people would get in spacesuits and freaking go all the way up there with no, no contact or anything by themselves. You know what? Now I know why. Fucking astronaut food. Oh my goodness. I don't think I need lunch. I didn't eat lunch today yet. I don't think I need it now. I wanna be an astronaut. Okay, so the freeze dried. Neapolitan ice cream, I actually said it right, was absolutely amazing. Next up, we have uh, red seedless grapes. And there's also a beef flavored thing in here because I ordered it special and they threw in an extra beef flavored. Okay. It smells like pet food. Here's, fuck, here's, here, here's what I'm looking at here. Okay, well, I guess they're just freeze dried grapes. They look like little pieces of bunny crap. And they're very hard, they're like rock solid. Something that will probably break my teeth, I don't know. Well, we couldn't expect to go two for two here. These little uh, little pieces of uh, grape poop here. No, no, not good. Nope. It tastes a little bit like rabbit food. Two things you're probably like, A, why are you still eating it? Because I bought it, I don't want it to go to waste. B, how do you know what rabbit food tastes like? Side story, when I was 11 years old, my friend had a rabbit and he said, that the rabbit food tastes very good. I was 11, I was naive, okay? That was around the age where I traded my Charizard hologram for a Rhydon. If anybody knows what that means, you know how stupid I was. So, I went in and he was like, you can get some of the food in the cage, it's gonna taste like chocolate. It's brown, it looks like chocolate. I ate the rabbit food, it didn't taste like chocolate. Next up we have a tube full of ice cream, the little dots, you guys know the little dots ice cream that you can get? It's like the, the, the ice cream of the feature it says, but it's been around for a while, so it's not the feature anymore. I don't know, it's just freeze dried ice cream drops. I don't know, I don't know what this is gonna taste like, but it's the same Neapolitan flavor, so if I can open it, it's an adorable little tube. I'll be honest, it smells like bug insect repellent. It smells like stuff that I would spray myself with so I don't get bitten by the spawn of Satan that are mosquitoes. Which is not a good sign, but I bet it tastes good. Maybe bug spray tastes good. Maybe bug spray tastes like ice cream. Don't ever try bug spray, please. Okay, here we go. Okay, so there they are. Little, uh, little, looks like little pieces of gravel. Okay, we have to have a talk after I spit this out. Well. Oh, we started off so good here, okay? We were one for one. 
the Neapolitan cement chalk ice cream was delicious. It tasted like fudge from the Ocean City Boardwalk. Anybody knows what that is. The frozen freeze dried grape turds were not good, but that's okay. That's fine, it's 50-50. You know, you get these little Neapolitan flavored ice cream dots, you think it's the same flavor as the other one, right? No, it tastes like ice cream gravel. Ice cream gravel does not taste as good as it sounds. Let's move on. Next up is mint chocolate chip ice cream. Now I'm about to start a controversy. I don't like anything mint. I don't, I don't like it. Every time I tell people this, they go crazy. They're like, hey, do you want a mint? Or do you want mint, mint chocolate chip ice cream? Uh, no, I don't like mint. Oh, look at this guy over here, doesn't like mint. Huh, thinks he's better than everybody else? No, I just don't like mint. I don't think I'm- Oh yeah? You think you're the shit, huh? You think you're Mr. Tough Guy over here? I just don't like mint. Every time you say to someone you don't like mint flavored things, they freak out. It's like, if you've never seen a movie, everybody, it's a big movie, everybody looks at you like you're crazy. They go, oh, I've never seen Star Wars before, I just never saw it. <gasps> You've never seen Star Wars. That's what I just said, yeah, I did. I just said uh, I've never seen it. How have you lived? It's just a movie, okay? Just a movie. It is not just a movie. It is life. Get out of my house. You don't, you don't own the house. Get out of my house, R2D. Like, people go wild, so that's how I feel it is when I'm mint. So, without further ado, here's the mint chocolate chip freeze-dried Astronaut ice cream. Also, by the way, just so you know how awkward this may seem outside, cars are driving by, okay? I have a big window right here, a giant window. They can clearly see inside. What do they see? A guy filming himself going like this. And then talking to himself. So everyone's like, oh great, now we have a, a schizophrenic neighbor who's just vomiting like a little bird. Great, welcome to the neighborhood, pal. Okay, so here we go with the mint chocolate chip ice cream. Once again, it comes, it looks like a little bar of soap. Will I be over dramatic with this? Probably, because I don't like mint. Well, whatever. Not bad. It doesn't taste like much, but it's not bad. I know that, that sounds weird, but not tasting like much sometimes is good. Like we drink water. Water doesn't have too much of a taste, but we drink it. This tastes like a... Uh, I don't know, take a good thing. All you mint lovers out there can stop hating on me. Just because I'm not eating peppermint patties like I'm a little crazy man. Last but not least in the packaging is the beef flavored thing. My heart. It's crunchy. Oh boy. <coughs> oh boy. <coughs> it's stuck in my throat for real. <laughs> oh wow, it just went down. I got a hunk of beef. Just dried beef in my lungs. It basically tastes like I'm eating the freaking packaging, you know the little seasoning from ramen noodles that I almost choked on. That I almost choked on. <clears throat> and I'm still choking on. We almost witnessed the actual death of me. Ryan's dead life. So, whatever this is, this thing right here. It's weird chewing on crispy beef. This isn't like well done beef, this is like dirt beef. I mean, that is, that is rough. I don't want to be an astronaut again. Okay, I was on board at first with the Neopetrolianian ice cream. Not anymore. How do you guys eat crispy beef? I never want to eat crispy beef again. Ever. Okay, so on a turn of events, I discovered that they have uh, little drink thingies. Probably because they know the crispy beef is hard to swallow. Um, so, uh, I don't have any water bottles, and I'm too lazy to go get glasses of water and stir them, so I'm just gonna pour them in my mouth. Which, once again, terrible idea. You can see the little things coming up. Terrible idea. This is called Lunar Lemonade, like Lunar Eclipse. I got the lens all dirty. Okay, now I understand why they make you put this in the water. And it just, it was like doing the cinnamon challenge. Let's do it again. Next up, there's intergalactic grape. Shout out to the Beastie Boys. If anybody knows that reference, you're a cool person. All right, bottoms up. This was work.
Bă, cum e? Stai de bani! Okay. I think I fucked up this time for real. I think I, I really fucked up. I'm gonna go brush my teeth and see if this comes out. Okay, update. I brushed my teeth and I did mouthwash and as you can see, I'm fucked. I look like I just made out with like the grape Kool-Aid man or something. I have friends coming over soon. Now I have to explain why it looks like I ate a bag of charcoal. I had two more flavors left. Lemon, lime, crater, aid. Clever. And outer space orange. Guess what? No, no more. Because I just stained my entire mouth. And my lips. And everything. So I look like Corella DeVille. Thank God my dad isn't here anymore to see this. He's back home safe. Okay, so uh, that's the end of that. On that note, thank you guys so much. My carpet is stained. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, please, for what has happened to my mouth and praying to God that it comes out so I don't have to go to the dentist or the doctor and explain this. Because boy, would that be awful. Comment down below some things I should try, anything interesting that you've found, anything that other YouTubers have done. We all know I'm unoriginal as fuck, so I'll do whatever, okay? But I'll make it funny, because that's what I do. I'm a funny, I'm a funny guy, I'm a fun guy. Alright. But that's it for me. As always, I will see you guys right here next Friday. And hey, stay average. And never, ever, never do that. Promise me you'll never do it. Promise me.